Hello my dear friends, in this video I will show you how you can take these simple black and white PowerPoint slides and turn them into your own custom company presentation that matches your brand. I will show you how you can add your company logo, how to add custom fonts and colors and so much more. So let's go! And by the way, these minimal black and white slides are absolutely free. I have designed them specifically for this tutorial, so feel free to download them. Link is in the description. And this way we'll save some time on designing and we can jump into customization right away. That's super duper awesome. And now in order for me to show you how we could turn these basic slides into a branded presentation, I'll have to use some kind of branding. And this is the branding that I'm going to use. This is just basically some kind of imaginary company, futuristic company. We have a beautiful logo, we have some brand colors, we have a font that we'd like to use, we have some icons and we have some images, okay? So I'll show you how we can apply all of these assets to our beautiful branded presentation and to easily access all of our company images and icons directly from PowerPoint and perform some AI tasks, we'll be using this awesome PowerPoint add-in slide room, more info on that later on. But for now, let's jump to the top and let's start customizing these minimal slides. And by the way, if you'd like to learn how you could create these kind of slide layers from scratch, you know, how to set up slide grids, how to add custom slide numbers, image placeholders, how to choose font sizes and so on, I have a video for that. Link is in the video description. But for now, since we have these starting slides, now we can focus on customizing these uh, slides so that they match our company branding. And first of all, as you can see, we have this sample logo, which is not selectable. We have to jump from the normal view into the slide master view in order to change this logo. But before we do that, let me just jump back to my branding slide and let's just copy this small logo. OK, and uh, let's jump back to the top and we can jump into the slide master view. We can just go to the view tab and click on the slide master. OK, and now as you can see, the sample logo is selectable. We can change it. That's nice. And by the way, if you'd like to have your company logo at the same position on all of the slides, you can just insert your logo in the slide master and it will be visible on all of these slide layouts. But since in my case, I would like to have the logo sometimes at the top and sometimes at the bottom. So for this reason, I'll just go manually through all of the layouts and update the logo. So now let me just turn on the guides so that I can see how to position this logo better. And let's make sure it is at the top left corner of the slide just you know touching those margins okay and once again if you'd like to learn how you could set up a grid like this with margins for your presentation video for that is in the video description and for now let me just delete the old sample logos and paste in my new logo and as i've mentioned on some of these slide layouts i have positioned the logo at the bottom of the slide so let's make sure that we update the logo on these slide layouts as well OK, so the new logo has been added to all of these slide layouts and I have a couple of slide layouts without the logo as well. So now we can uh, jump back to the normal view and let's see if the logo is visible. So let's get back to the normal view and skadoosh, here it is. A new logo is visible on all of the slides. That's super duper awesome. OK, my friends, the next I think we can focus on fonts. And as you can see, these two text boxes on the title slide are using the Poppins font. That's nice. But what is more important is that, you know, Poppins font is set as a heating font. So you basically have a heating font and a body font that you can set up for your PowerPoint template. And it's really important that all of the text boxes in your presentation are using either a heating font or a body font, because this way later on you can change those fonts globally. Let me just go into design tab. Let's go to fonts and let me just mouse over different font pairs. And as you can see, all of the text boxes, all of the fonts are instantly changing. That's super duper awesome. That's the power if you're using the heating and body font correctly and of course if you would like to you can use custom fonts as well so basically any other font which is not set as a heading or a by the font just keep in mind that these custom fonts will not be automatically updated once you will change you know the heading and body font later on you would have to do it manually for custom fonts but in this case i would like to use this beautiful free google font space grotesque let me show you how we can set it up as a heading and by the font let's go into design tab let's click on this arrow Let's go to fonts. Let's go here to the bottom. Let's click on customize fonts. And now we can just basically type in the name of our heating font. So for the heating, let me use space grotesque medium, which is a little bit thicker. And for the body text, let me use the usual space grotesque. And you can name your font pair. Let's click on save and skadoosh. 
Now, all of the text boxes are using either a space grotesque medium for the headings or the usual space grotesque for the body text. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, my friends, you're doing wonderful. And next, let me show you how you can create a custom color palette for your branded template. So let's say you have a couple of brand colors and you'd like to have them in your color palette. So let's say you select any shape, then you can go into a shape fill and you can easily and quickly you know, select your brand color. That would be awesome. So let me show you how we can do that. So first of all, all of these sample slides are black and white, and I would like to change that black color into this dark blue that I have over here. So to do that, we can go into the design. Let's click on this arrow. Let's go to colors. Let's click on customize colors. And here we can edit our colors. So to change that black, we can click on this first color. Okay, let's just click on that little arrow. Let's go to more colors. Let's go to custom. And over here, we can type in the hex code of the new color that we want. In this case, this beautiful dark blue color. And once we're finished, let's just click OK. And the first uh, color will be updated. It might be hard to see because it's you no know, dark blue, but it's definitely there. And next we can add an accent one color. And for this accent one, let's insert a hex code of this beautiful cyan color. That's nice. And now for the second accent color, let me add this bluish uh, gray color. OK. And of course, you can change all of the six accent colors. For this tutorial, I'll just, you know, go with accent one and accent two and that you know dark blue instead of the black and we'll see you know how all of these color changes affect our template and of course you can name your color palette let's just call it space and now let's go through a couple of slides and let's see if we can already notice our new color palette so the sign color is already visible that's nice and what about that dark blue color for example let's select this text box Let's check its color. And yes, it's definitely using that dark blue, which we have, you know, chosen instead of that black. That's nice. OK, my friends, the next I think we can make our slide background a little bit more interesting. So let's jump into format background and let's choose a gradient fill. We can choose one of the presets that we have over here. OK, let's suggest it. We can remove one of the colors so that we have only two colors. And let's set the right color to this, you know, shade of accent two. And for the left color, which is white, let's move it to position, for example, 60. And this way we have created this beautiful gradient background. And now to apply it to the rest of the slides, let's just click on apply to all. And skadoosh, now all of the slides have the same beautiful slide background that matches our brand. That's nice. Okay, my friends, and now as you can see, we have this empty image placeholder. And to access my company images and icons, I'll be using this awesome PowerPoint add-in called SlideRoom. You can test it out for free. Link is in the video description. And first of all, it has a media pool where I can store conveniently all of my company pictures. And now we can basically click on any of the images and it will be automatically applied to our image placeholder. If we don't like the image, we can delete it. And now we can pick any other picture that we want. Click on it and skadoosh. It is automatically applied to our image placeholder. And as always, you can jump into the crop options of your image and you can adjust how the image looks like inside of the image placeholder. That's super duper awesome. And now let's go through the rest of the slides and let's fill those image placeholders easily and quickly with this Lightroom add-in because we have all of our images conveniently in one place. And actually, you can store not only icons and images in this Lightroom add-in, but you can as well store your most used slides or even the whole presentations. That's really powerful and that really does save a lot of time. OK, my friends, so all of the image placeholders have been successfully filled with our corporate images. And on this slide, we have a couple of sample icons. Let me delete those and let's insert our own company icons once again using this Lightroom add-in. Let's go to media pool. Let's go to static icons. And over here, I have my own icons that I have uploaded to Slideroom. And now I can easily access them. That's nice. And next, let me quickly insert the rest of the icons. And let's make sure that they nicely fit inside of those science circles. And by the way, if you'd like to get one of the paid plans of the Slideroom add-in, then feel free to use the coupon code OneScale15 to get a 15% discount. That's super duper awesome. Thank you so much, Slideroom. 
And by the way, once you install the Slideroom add-in, you get this Slideroom tab as well, where you can access all of the most useful functions, such as quickly aligning to the middle and center, and this way we can quickly align those icons inside of these circles. That's really useful. And as I've mentioned, you can upload your own corporate images, icons, even animated icons, presentations or slides, and you can conveniently organize them into different folders. So definitely check it out. Link is in the video description. And next, I would like to test out this AI Studio that we have in the Slideroom add-in. And over here, we have a couple of text-related commands. And the first one is text improvement. So guess we can improve this text and make it sound more business-like, academic or diplomatic. And next, we can shorten our text. We can make it more concise. That's nice. We can translate our text and we can even check the corporate design. And we'll do definitely that later on. But for now, let's try out one of those uh, text improvement options. So let's just make sure that our text box is selected. Let's choose, for example, business. And let's just click on improve text. And for now, as you can see, the add-in is giving us uh, the German version. So let me just type in English. Let's click on individual customization. And here is our English improved text sounding like business. And now we can choose use text and skadoosh. Our text box has automatically updated with the new text. That's nice. And now let's try out text shortening. So let's just select our text box. Let's choose shorten text. And once again, we get the German text. So let me type in English and we should get a shortened version in English. That's nice. Let's pick this one and let's just use the text. And once again, we get a new version just like that. Okay. And you can definitely check out the translation option as well. But what I'm really interested in is the CD check, the corporate design check, which basically checks if your presentation meets your corporate design, your color palette, your fonts. So let's just check it out. And currently, as you can see, the slide room says that our presentation is fully compliant with our corporate design standard. That's nice. And now just for fun, let me change this text box to green. OK, and now let's go to one of the other slides and let's change the font. OK, so for example, let's go to this slide and let's select this body text over here and let's just change it to something else, you know, instead of our body font, which is space grotesque, for example, let's choose this one. OK, adventure await. And now let's get back to the top of our presentation and let's run the corporate design check once again and let's see what happens. OK, so let's just click on restart. And yes, it definitely found some inconsistencies that we can fix. We have one inconsistent font and one inconsistent color. So we can go individually through the slides and we can just fix this green color. Let's click on replace color. That's nice. And next, we jump to the inconsistent font that we can quickly fix by clicking on this button, replace text, and skadoosh once again, we can see our beautiful space grotesque body font. And now our presentation is fully compliant with our corporate design. So if you're a big company with many employees creating corporate presentations every day, and if you'd like to make sure that all of those presentations stay on brand, then I would say you have to definitely check out Slideroom because the corporate design check will save you a lot of time and make sure that those presentations stay on brand. Once again, the link to test out the Slideroom add-in for absolutely free is in the video description and in the pinned comment. And by the way, Slideroom is working on a full AI automation solution as well that will be interesting to test out in the future. And next, my friends, if you'd like to learn how you could create those beautiful professional slide layouts from scratch, check out this video next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.